So, what we're going to do today, there's two things. First up, and uh, it's a big shout out to our good friend Q8 Pilot. And uh, the, a man who needs no introduction, an absolute gentleman. And his channel has just hit 70,000 subscribers. Quite the milestone, right? So, uh, nice up. What's wrong with me knees? I have lovely knees. <laughs> Nobbly knees. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Q8 Pilot did a video on this uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, about six months ago and effectively if you're suffering from a couple of stutters in your sim uh, it, well it's a way to remind you well this is how we're going to fix them all right so this applies mainly for nvidia right so if you're on amd you're probably not getting the same stutters so let's go in and have a look let's go in and have a look so what the first thing we need to do right make sure the sim is turned off I'm dreamy gonna, sleepy nighty snoozy snooze i'm going to tell you what to do and 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 you know we'll go through it right so the first bit of stuff we go to you go into wherever your local disk drive is the c drive and you go into users and whatever your profile name is and you go into app data now if you can't see app data just go into your options and make sure you're you're showing hidden files because they tend to hide this uh folder um because you don't really need to get in there said windows uh, but we need to get in there right jeppesen 2001 is here welcome in man great to see you so go into your app data right and you go into local and when you're in your local folder i want you to go all the way down to the nvidia folder nvidia not the nvidia corporate just nvidia folder open that and you're met with a couple of folders right you'll have your dx cache and you'll have your gl cache first and foremost inside your DX cache, select every single file in here and delete it. Now you won't be able to delete them all because some of them are being used by the system, right? So we're going to delete all of those. Next up, you go into your GL cache and in here, delete the folder, not the GL cache, open the GL cache and then just delete the folder that lives inside it. That's you deleting all the graphics cache files. And the reason why we delete them they may get corrupt over time, so you need to waddy them, all right? So that is the first thing that we do. This is known as deleting the shader cache. Are we following so far? Yes, yes, good, right. Our next trick, friends, if you have NVIDIA, because it only applies to NVIDIA, go to your NVIDIA control panel. So you usually find that in the NVIDIA uh, icon in your taskbar, lower right-hand side, or failing that, just click on the Windows button and just type in NVIDIA. We're looking for the NVIDIA control panel. Open up the control panel. And what we need to do, we have to select what menu of what we're going to edit. So we're going to go down to where it says manage 3D settings. Inside, when it opens, you'll see that you have global settings and program settings. Let's stay in the global settings just for now. Inside the global settings, I want you to scroll down until it says shader cache size. By default, this is going to be set to driver default. I want you to change it. You're going to change it up to unlimited. Just select unlimited. Okay, with me so far? Next up, we go into the program settings. And it's within here, we're going to find the program we want to edit. So in this case, I had X-Plane open the other day. I'm going to go into where it says Microsoft Flight Simulator. So when we open up the program settings for Microsoft Flight Sim, there are a couple of settings in here I want you to change. So your anisotropic filtering. My settings, I have it set to 16x. 16x. Uh, scrolling down, you can have a look at this. I'll, I'll save all this for you, but you'll see here, you know, uh, anti-aliasing FXAA, that's turned off. Gamma correction, it's on by default. Anti-aliasing mode is application controlled. These are all the default entries. The first one you're going to change is low latency mode. This tends to be off or on. I want you to select ultra. Low latency mode, put it on ultra. And this is specifically to flight simulators. The same settings actually work well over on X-Plane. Right. Uh, scrolling down, power management mode. Now I've tested this in, like you can imagine now, I've really tested this. Because I have a 4090, the advice I've read everywhere was, leave it on normal. No, no, you don't. Uh, now they might say, well, the sim is never going to need everything that the 4090 has. It does. And the difference is about 10 frames per second. So you change it from the normal value to prefer maximum performance. Doesn't matter what GPU you have, 
put it on maximum performance. And this only relates to Microsoft Flight Sim. If you don't use your PC for anything else, you can put these into the global settings. For me, I like putting them in program settings. All right. So prefer power management mode goes to maximum performance. OK, next up then texture filtering and isotropic sampling optimization is turned off. Texture filtering your negative LOD, put it on clamp and threaded optimization, turn it on. Right. So there are my settings. That's what I do. And it works very, very well. And I don't seem to have any issues with it at all. All right. When you have all of this done, I want you to go down to your video settings on the left hand side where the main options are. And I want you to go down to um, is it the top one. Yeah. Adjust video color settings. In here, you select the display that your sim is going to be running on. And how do you make color adjustments? I want you to select with the NVIDIA settings. With the, you check that little box that says with the NVIDIA uh, settings and then click on advanced. When you're in the advanced area, make sure the dynamic range is set to full. By default, it's limited. Put it on to full. All right. Hit apply. Restart your PC. And then away you go, start up the sim. And from here on in, whenever you experience these micro stutters, just go back and delete the shader cache files. If you're on Windows 10, you have an option that you can now right click on the C drive, disk clean up and, you know, get rid of the shader files. Or you just do it this way because Windows keeps a couple of shader files as well. But if you do all of this, you will have a much, much more smoother experience within the sim. Try it. Let me know your feedback. As I said, if, uh, Q8 Pilot has a video. By all means, if you want to have a step-by-step -step tutorial, no better pookle than Q8, go check out his video. I've done this. I've tweaked the settings a little bit from what I found to be the best. Um, give it a try and let me know how you get on. It's not going to cure everything, but it really, really helps. This will work on any NVIDIA graphics card, be the 10, 20, 30 or 40 series. It doesn't really matter. To remind you what shader files you get rid of, uh, you know, you go into your PC, you go into users, you go into app data, local, open the NVIDIA folder. And in here you have DX cache. Open the DX cache folder, delete everything that's in there. You can't delete them all because there's programs using stuff. Fair enough, but delete as much as you can. Then you go inside the GL cache and delete the folder inside the GL cache folder. And that's it. These will all get replaced when the system loads up again. Your graphics card is going to create new shader files, right? So that's what you do there. Uh, the last thing what I want you to do is in the sim, if you're still getting stutters in the sim, go into your options, into your data options specifically. Because even though you might have rolling cache turned off, the sim still uses some of it. It's just the way it's programmed, right? So you need to delete the rolling cache file as often as you can. You install a new livery, get rid of it. You install a new scenery, get rid of it. You got to delete the rolling cache file every time you're adding something new to the sim. Trust me. We don't know why it is, but it is. So once you do that, you can hit apply and save and you're good to go. If you're still suffering with micro stutters and all sorts of issues, I'll link a couple of uh, other really helpful videos that goes into, you know, de-bloat the NVIDIA stuff. I had that on my last PC. I got rid of so much stuff from NVIDIA. It meant I lost all like the fancy game filters and all this, but man alive, I mean, I was getting easily an extra 20 FPS just by getting rid of the bloatware that comes with NVIDIA. So there are other things that you can do. And then the last rule of thumb is, lads, dial back your settings. Just dial them back. You'd be surprised the difference of having settings at kind of medium to ultra. There's not much in it. It's very hard, in fact, for you to actually say, ah, I know it's a huge difference. So play around with your settings, right? The biggest things that kill the sim is your terrain level of detail or buildings level of detail. Get those sliders way, way back. No more than 100, 110 tops. If you, you know, if you have a slider and it's up at 200 or 300, there is no need. There really isn't any need for it. So that will definitely help. All right. So that's it when it comes to, um, you know, the bit of tech talk with how to get an extra few FPS and also get rid of some of the uh, some of the gadgetry when it comes to stutters and the like. Right.